Old and Aki here with another Halo Infinite campaign mission walkthrough and this is Mission 15 Silent Auditorium run on legendary difficulty with four skulls activated as we can see here. Cowbell, Bandana, Grunt Birthday Party and I would have been your daddy with the first two being the important ones. So as we start here this is a little bit of a cutscene. This is the final mission in the core campaign. Uh, next up after that would be finish the fight, which is really the open world stuff, all the side missions. I may do a few of those before I start on the Lazo campaign. All right, as soon as I gain control here, I'm going to grapple off to the right because there is a white elite out there with a sniper, and uh, he has some other weapon, which I'm not sure of, but generally he has a sniper out, and he can camo, so what we want to do is get him early, like right there. So now we have, we have one more elite to deal with. And a bunch of grunts and shielded jackals and, uh, oh, a half dozen or so brutes. There's the second elite. It's nice of him just to stand there momentarily. I think he has got a, uh, I think he has a, um, a hydra. I'm getting messages from some of my Xbox friends here. I'm sorry about that. All right, off in the distance. Actually, there's, I believe there's a third, a third elite back there along with a brute. Now, while I was distracted by the message, apparently what I did is I took out that shade turn on the left there. All right, so basically this is, you see them, you shoot them. All right, next up, I'm going to come up the right side. Notice how I got that container out of the way because it's always seemed to give me problems. Because with the scorpion gun I'm using, I have to, it, it fires from the knees, and I have to kind of jump if I'm firing level or down. There we go. That brute had a sniper as well. You can see the laser uh, range finder there. All right, that's the second shade turret. Don't forget to take that out. Oh, and don't do that. I gotta admit, this wasn't the cleanest of runs up until the end. Alright, it's nice that with Bandana I have infinite ammo and infinite grenades. The Scorpion gun, regardless of whether you've got Bandana on or not, uh, does have infinite ammo. So, I'm, I will use the Scorpion gun predominantly but occasionally switch over to the uh, to my shock rifle which is a nice little weapon I'm still getting messages some of my pals tried to run customs last night and uh, nobody showed up including me <laughs> Okay, we're getting down here towards the end. You can see the, uh, the little diamonds telling me those are the remaining enemies to take out in this room. Notice that I used the, uh, I used, I, I actually fired at the wall that that brute was standing next to. The scorpion gun does provide a lot of splash damage. Now, this little bugger is giving me heartburn.
There we go, got him. All right, that's it for the room. And you can tell by the change in the music. Yeah, that, that song or whatever it is just kind of ended it on it. That's a good indication that uh, you're finished in that room. All right, next up, several grunts, an elite, and a brute. <laughs> there's, the, there's the elite. Elite generally will come around and present himself, so you can take him out fairly easily with the scorpion gun. There's the brute. Can't get a quite get a line on him. Nah, he's moving off. There, got him that time. Now they will move around a little bit differently each time you come through here if you're making multiple runs of this. So just be aware of what you're dealing with, how many you're dealing with. Okay, we got to get a power seed to get the door open over here. If you go over and try to open the door or go to the door, it, you know, the weapon will tell you that. Believe me, I've been through here so many times with failed runs that that's just instinct there. Sort of a semi cutscene thingy there. I think you can run right through it if you don't want to listen to her. All right, the next enemies that we're going to have to deal with are those two red hunters. That's always a lot of fun. All right, we're going to have another little cutscene here, or semi cutscene. What's the plan? Take me back to the infinity for deletion? Halsey's going to love that. I'm running these to just to illustrate how we got where we are. Okay, I'm taking my time coming down this corridor because I'm kind of stealing myself for the two hunters. First, I'm going to put one shot in one of the hunters and they react immediately. Try to use cover as much as I can. Oh, shoot, I didn't want to do that. And I really didn't want to do that. All right, I got one of them. You really want to stay away from where I, where I was because of those... Uh, those, uh, those cores there, different kinds of cores, because the hunters will fire into them and blow you up. All right, so we got past the hunters this time. I got this. Are you okay? So we got about four more rooms to clear. No. I think it's four. Not really. Before we get to the real yeah. entertaining finale. She was expecting you, but Atriox got to her first. You meant so much to each other. It can't be easy. All right, if we were to go right here, we would have gone down into a room that had a lot of weapons. Uh, I don't need them. So we go left and up here. All right, we're coming into a room where there's a bunch of grunts, a couple of brutes, and, uh, and, and a white elite. And he's the one you got to really be careful about. Well, that and the fact that the grunts occasionally uh, go suicidal on you. I think that's one of, that's one of the uh, brutes firing at me. Oh, here comes the suicidal grunt. Okay. So we got some. Uh, we still got some more grunts, and I think I just got myself a brute and shielded jackals and that bag on elite. And he he will appear in different places depending on the run. It's not always in the same place, so you've really got to be careful because he does have a sword, and he'll go camo and charge you at the last second. And I think I see him down there. Yeah, this time, oh, I didn't want that gun up. This time he came up to me a little bit. There we go, got him. 
I'm going to breathe a little easier now. All right, it looks like what I've got left are grunts and shielded jackals. All right, that shielded jackal back in the back is gone. I can hear a shielded jackal growling down there. And the one up close is a little tougher to get to. So it helps if you throw a couple of grenades and take him out. Not really sure what I was looking for here. To be quite honest with you. All right. Up next, and this is why I'm going to the left here, there's going to be two grunts and a brute coming through that open doorway. Sometimes they're all together and one shot from the uh, scorpion gun will take all three of them out. Sometimes they kind of don't come out all together and you've got to deal with them each individually. All right, that room's taken care of. On to the next. All right. This is the room where if you're trying to get a skull uh, in this room, you've got to run this, run from front to back of this room or get through the room without taking any of the, uh, any of the sentinels out. And if you're really looking to get skulls, like I did, I, I highly suggest you, you, you run the campaign on easy. Because it's a lot. You can run through the whole campaign in about three and a half to four hours, and then uh, and then take the uh, and do the o uh, open world uh, hunt for skulls. There's seven of them in the open world, five in the in main campaign. Anyway, I've got guys coming up the left, coming up the right. I took out that uh, turret down there, plasma turret. Got to be careful. And didn't mention it before, but you generally are, are faced with initially with one sentinel who's down there a ways, and then uh, two of them will come up right in front of you. See, there's a white elite down there. Oh, and there he goes. Another good example of splash damage. I don't think I took him out, but I think uh, I think I hit just close enough to knock him off the platform. All right, there's a few more down here. Just kind of shoot it right around the to the left and right of the uh, those little uh, drop shields. All right, I think in this run, I think I still had an elite down here, uh, a regular blue, old blue elite. Sometimes he gives himself away because he starts talking. You know, what I'm looking for up here is a brute. I think that's a Hydra. I think. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, I can hear I can hear the brute. I mean, I can hear the elite. There he is. There he goes. All right, I think that was just a grunt on the right side. So next up is that guy right there. Oh, grunt. All right, we got one or two more uh, sentinels to deal with as we get up close to the uh, this area right here. They should make an appearance. There's one, and I don't know if a second one will. No, I just saw I just saw the little red dot, so he's there, and he's being a little bit of a pain. There we go. Again, I have uh, I have to jump when I'm shooting level or down because of the fact that the scorpion gun shoots from basically below the waist or actually right, right around the knees. And that's why you'll see me jumping a lot, like so, getting ready to aim, like that. And sometimes it's a slow-firing weapon, and, and you have to time it. 
sometimes uh, you get ready to fire and it won't fire because you're firing too soon. So there's timing involved in that too. So the benefits obviously are it's, it's, a, it's a very strong weapon. You can take enemies out with splash damage. It's, if, it's infinite ammo and it fires a long way. The downside is, uh, is how you have to fire it along with the fact that you can't melee and you can't throw grenades as we watch this little mini cutscene here. Now this one is, we have to wait about half of it until the light bridge appears. I have little need for a famed god. This ring is all I need. Surrender to me. Okay, that's all of that. Now the, the next room, which I believe is the next to last room we have to clear, is uh, pretty difficult. The data. Only because it's well designed as far as obstructions go like in terms of firing. We're getting closer to where she died. And what you have to and who you have to deal with. But I was going to say deliberate. Like she wanted us to know something. Not sure what happened there. It was too quick to be an old man break. All right, you're going to have a grunt and a brute right away. And then, again, I'm not quite sure. Oh, you know what it was? Now I remember. <laughs> One of my cats decided he wanted to be affectionate and jump up on my chest right in the middle of this run. So I had to kind of shoo him away. All right, up on the right side. Well, we got that too. We got a brute with it looks like a hydra. And I actually think that's a banished version of a of a plasma launcher. I don't think it's a hydra. And good old me, I didn't bother to do any research. All right, I don't know if you saw that little flash of uh, a sighting flash there. Anyway, up on the left and up on the right, where I'm aiming now on the left, there's a, there are, ah, darn it, this is what I mean by well-constructed. There are, there's jackal snipers on each side. And way down below, there is a brute sniper, so you have to be careful that you don't lose focus on what's around you and move up a little quick. Oh, I got that brute. All right, I got the guys on the left, and I think, oh yeah, he's still there. So it's really hard, it's really hard to time the fire, the jump and firing. There, right, okay, got the two snipers, the two jackal snipers. Now it's a matter of clearing out the rest of the room, and there's going to be shielded jackals, like so. There's going to be, oh, there's that uh, brute sniper. And that's a one-shot kill, by the way. Oh, gone it. Like I said, it's it's a little hard. All right, I'm hearing a jackal off to my left here. Where are there you are? There he goes. Looking for that brute sniper. I don't know if I got him or not. I can see some brutes in the background. I may have to move up, which I'm doing. Now there will be a grunt or two down below. You have to be careful because they will throw grenades at you. I can see I can see in my motion detector there's somebody, two of them right below me. That's where the shock grenades come in. It'll freeze them. You get a shock grenade close enough to a jackal or a grunt or actually even a brute or an elite and it will freeze them momentarily I think I think he just ran away yeah he ran back outside I think no he didn't 
His own grenade took care of him. All right, let's see what we got left here. Whoa, there's, that's, that's not the sniper. I think I got the sniper. So one thing about the sniper brutes is that they are not shielded at all. So they're actually pretty easy to take out. I th think I got them. I thought I heard, a, there's a couple of berserkers as well, brute berserkers, but sometimes they appear, sometimes they don't. I'm not going to stick around and find out. Okay, now we're on to the last room to clear before the grand finale. All right, there will be a shielded jackal to take out. There's going to be a white elite. I think I just got him. Whoa, look out. Uh, a couple of grunts. There's one. Okay, and when that door opens, there's going to be a couple of grunts, a shielded jackal, and a brute coming out of that room right there. And if you fire at just the right angle, you can take them all out with one shot. Yep, there's a second. There's a second grunt on the outside. Okay, that should be it. All right, this is the last room that you actually have to clear to get to the final room. So as we uh, as we make our way. Uh, we will run into a cutscene or two. This is sort of a mini... It's not really a cutscene because you have control. But he's going to sit there and uh, talk a little bit before he opens that door. And then we're going to... Then we're going to go... Haul it down a couple of corridors and get on an elevator. And then we'll have a couple of cutscenes there. I am starting to get a bad feeling about all this. So as a preface to the final room, that's where the Harbinger is. And what we're going to have to do is clear three waves. After each wave, the Harbinger will be exposed and we can put fire on her. And I'm assuming it's a her. And each succeeding wave gets a little bit more difficult. And I actually, I think I actually got a little lucky on, on this run that I was able to complete. But getting in, in a position where you can anticipate where the waves are coming from, and they're all banished, including skimmers, and I believe a sentinel or two, and brutes, and there's a couple of jackal snipers, and grunts, shielded jackals. So... What usually happens, what was happening to me, is I was getting overwhelmed. He has the right. So the more that you can take out right away, the better. There aren't too many places to hide. Now, I have control here. I can run around the elevator. So this is another one of those soft cutscenes. Nothing else matters. This has got to work. He can't do it on his own. He needs me. He needs her. Okay, this is a forced cutscene. And this must be where Atriox uh, died, if you will, when she destroyed the ring. It was her. 
She destroyed the ring, stopped my deletion. Why? I'll try to explain what I'm doing and why uh, as we go through each wave, but honestly, some of this is just me purely reacting. Sacrificed herself. All right, another cutscene. The silent auditorium. Forerunner, obviously. It appears to be... Oh, no. What is it? It's a courtroom, a prison, a place of execution. All these things, together. Why? To call their sins. Ooh, here comes the harbinger. Silent. Unable to speak as they passed judgment. We could not defend ourselves. We could not reason with them. Something sending a signal. Before you ask... I'm already tracking it. Hear this, forerunners. Your auditorium has fallen. The endless battle. Your sins undone. Today we return. Okay, as soon as I get control here, I'm going up here. Making sure that I make that jump, that grapple jump, successfully. Okay, turn to the left. Open door. Turn to the right. Open door. Okay, that's most of the first wave right there. Here comes the third door. Alright, we want to hit her right away with, when uh, that shielding drops. Ah, turn. You know, here, bad timing there. Alright. Okay, so she has kind of recovered there. So I'm going to run over to the next little platform while she is rebuilding her. Yeah, while she's doing that. Okay, here we go. Open door, fire. Open door, fire. Not sure. There's a sniper right there. I'm glad I got him. All right, somebody's firing at me, so I didn't get all everybody. Ooh. All right, when in doubt, retreat. All right, that was a uh, that was a. All right, I'm in trouble. All right, running back over here to get my shields back. Get back up. Get some better lever leverage. I think I just have the... Uh, I just had... Oops. Got him. So I just got the brute now. Notice I'm using the... Uh, I was using the, the post as cover. Now you want to fire and, and hit her right away because if you hesitate or miss a lot uh, she will notice I'm going back to the uh, to what I believe this is the one where I the second wave one okay so now we're waiting for them all to come out for the third wave but if you don't hit her right away she will advance on you and that's not good all right uh-oh, 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 I hear him. We want to take care of that brute. Alright, that was an elite. Oh, a hiding, a hiding place. I can't believe it. Get my shields back. Got my shields. Got to be careful. Oh shoot! Got to be careful of those guys because they will throw those shock grenades back at you, and they have shock rifles. Okay, I think there's just one left. 
And there he is. All right, make myself out here in the middle so I can get a hold of him. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay, one more shot. That's it. All right, we got her. Anyway, you can see more or less how I treated each wave. Some of that by design, some of that by reaction. All right, this is going to be an extended cutscene here. Now, one thing I got to say before we actually get to the real end of the of the uh, of this mission is that when it ends, uh, the credits start rolling, and I cut the video uh, right right at the beginning of the credits and cut those out because you know we don't need to see those for this video. Okay, that's Cortana. It won't be me. Anyway, the the credits rolled for close to 20 minutes and I could not I could not back out of them. And then we get into finish the fight and uh, the first cutscene I didn't even realize what it was, so I lost a couple of seconds on that. I will probably create another playlist called Finish the Fight and uh, do some of the side missions. So let's let this run out. I think this, it's been a quite a while since I actually finished the uh, campaign um, on normal when I did my uh, skull hunt. So I, I'm not really sure that I even saw this uh, cutscene. But this isn't an end. It's a chance to make amends, to rectify mistakes. And it starts here. I was wrong. I thought that I could do this on my own. But I forgot that the whole point of all of this, the entire reason that I chose you in the first place was that we were supposed to be a team. Perfectly suited, perfectly matched, perfectly perfect. In these final moments, I know what my last mission is. I need to make sure you two learn from my mistakes. Become stronger because of them. I chose well, Master Chief. I really did. Now, it's up to you. Whoa. Are you all right? I don't know what to say. Scratch that. We need to get out of here. Like now. Options. I'm thinking. Yes, I know, I know. Think faster. Maybe there's a way to. Was that you? Would it help if I said yes? Probably. But we don't know where it's going. Or even if it's going anywhere. Any other suggestions? No, but this is a really bad idea. Let's not do that again. I did try to tell you it was a bad idea. Chief! <laughs> Your beacon just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, I thought I lost you. Where did you go? Echo 216. Stay put. I'm coming to you. Where are we? Chief, I think the better question is when are we? I don't know how, but we've been gone for days. Three days, to be precise. This ring is different than the others. The Banished and the Harbinger were looking for something that was never found. Why would the Forerunners hide something and throw away the key? Doesn't that scare you? No. 
you. Of course not. Is anyone going to ask me what I think? I guess not. Get inside, big guy. Really happy to see you. <laughs> really happy. So, what do we do now? We finish the fight. <laughs> yes, sir. The banish still control the rest of the ring. Wait. I know this is weird, given all that's happened, but. What? What is it? We still don't know your name. We can't keep calling you Echo 216. No, you can't. Esparza. Fernando Esparza. It's nice to meet you, Esparza. Fernando Esparza. Good work, soldier. And what about you? What about me? What do I call you? Any ideas? Well... Do you think it would be okay? You're sure? You get to choose your name. Then I think I think I might have the perfect one. Okay. I hope this helps you in your quest to finish the campaign on legendary difficulty. That is silent auction at the end. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Olden Aki signing off. Take care everybody.